well. We'll have with us the management of Prince Pipe Fittings and Jay Kumar Infra to talk about the second quarter performance and of course the outlook going forward. Okay, let's talk about Prince Pipes then. I mean, uh, numbers came through. Numbers look uh, pretty strong. 66% growth in revenues. Margins though, uh, remained under pressure year on year. Quarter on quarter, I think they are better. Nihar Cheda is Associate Vice President, uh, uh, Corporate Strategy at uh, Prince Pipes. He's joining us uh, right now. Nihar, good to have you here. Thanks very much. <coughs> First of all, uh, could you tell us what, you know, this revenue growth that we've seen, uh, what what was the volume growth in the quarter, second quarter? Uh, and uh, we understand you've taken price uh, price hikes in October. Uh, we can talk about that later, but uh, divide the revenue into volume and price uh, change for Q2 first. Sure. Thank you for having me on. Uh, so the 66% revenue growth was backed by a 22% volume growth. Uh, and apart from that, you know, because of the surge in commodities, we've also had a significant realization growth uh, since our industry is a, you know, pass-through industry. But this, you know, sort of robust volume growth uh, has been driven by the plumbing and the SWR part of the portfolio. Uh, and, you know, we've been able to give this kind of a performance, I would say, for three reasons. Uh, one has been an aggressive network expansion. Uh, the second, I would say, is a aggressive expansion with the product portfolio. And this has been backed by a very strong supply security that we have today, which I think is very important in, in today's scenario, you know, given the global supply chain uh, crisis that we're having. So all in all, you know, this September quarter has been the highest quarterly sales for us um, in our history. And then we're looking to, to keep this, uh, you know, going forward. Okay, so, uh, you know, uh, the demand uh, picture then seems to be pretty robust from what you say. Uh, can you give us a sense of what this will translate into in, in terms of full year top line growth? Since you're saying that this is the best ever quarter and if trends continue to be as strong going into the second half, then uh, what are we looking at in terms of sustainable top line growth for this year and perhaps even beyond? Yes, yeah, so I think at this point of time it's hard to give uh, you know annual guidances since we're only halfway through the year. Uh, like I said, this quarter has been robust. Uh, it is backed by not only a strong demand, but also a supply chain crisis. And, you know, supply security at the industry level is maybe not as good. And, uh, you know, being a, a, a branded player at a national level, uh, we've been able to take advantage of our strong supply security. Okay, let me just ask you, the, you know, that question from another perspective in terms of capacity utilization, demand being as robust as it is. At what uh, utilization levels are you running, Nehar? So we are at, uh, you know, 60-65% of wow. capacity utilization. Uh, so we still have a, a long way to go and, you know, we're hungry for growth. Okay. Uh, I mean, so 60-65% uh, uh, versus historical, I mean, is this high, is this low for some perspective? No, it's, you know, it's, uh, it's what our normal average is. We always like to keep some, uh, you know, buffer in our capacities in case there is uh, you know, further, uh, you know, market share gains to be made in the marketplace. But did, what I, did any additional capacities come on stream recently? Yes. So, you know, from the uh, IPO that we did around uh, two years ago now, uh, we were we raised capital for our seventh plant uh, that we have put up in Telangana. We have put up a very small initial capacity. And over the next two to three years, we will be ramping up that capacity in a significant manner. Uh, and the south market is something where, uh, you know, we have a huge potential. Traditionally, the north and west have been home markets for prints. And now with this integrated facility in, uh, you know, the south of India, this should not only help us make market share gains uh, in, in the south, but will also be a decentralization, uh, you know, lever uh, in terms of expanding the margin going forward. Okay. Well, you uh, led us to the immediate next question, margin. I was just coming to that. Because in the second quarter, there's been pressure, been about 150 basis points. Uh, so tell us which of your inputs are still hurting, how much price hike have you been able to pass through, are you thinking of doing more in the coming months? Sure, that's a good question. So our major uh, input cost is obviously PVC, uh, which has been on a tremendous surge uh, since the past 12 months. The good part is that our industry is passed through, so any increase or decrease, uh, you know, we usually pass on in full uh, with immediate effect. But at these high levels and unprecedented levels in terms of cost, we've still been able to pass it through, but we've been passing it on in a phase-wise manner so that we're able to make these market share gains, have the volume growth uh, and the resultant operating leverage benefits, 
and at the same time uh, you know try to keep our pricing power intact okay so just a related question um, since you're a larger player and you're able to sort of stagger your price hikes uh, what about the unorganized market with this huge sort of a slam dunk on the input side uh, does it mean that smaller unorganized players will simply sort of uh, fall by the wayside uh, when they get marginalized so does that mean more market consolidation and market share gains for you if you could give us some some numbers that would also be great in terms of market share absolutely so you know today in in terms of at the industry level 65% of our market is organized 35% is unorganized i uh, these numbers are uh, you know sort of pre covid and before this sort of surge that we've seen in commodities and i think there is a huge room for growth in terms of the organized space as a whole going forward because like you rightly mentioned there is major market consolidation happening in fact this lack of supply security is not only troubling the smaller unorganized players but some of the medium scale uh, organized players as well are going through this uh, sort of lack of supply security um, which is why there is a, a major uh, sort of room for growth for a, a big brand like ourselves mm. uh near just one last question this jal jeevan mission uh, how is that expect what's the ramp up there what's going to happen in uh, h2 and uh, what does that contribute uh, to your business sure so the jal jeevan mission if i can sum up in one line is the government's uh, you know mission to provide piped water access to every rural household in the country and even today a lot of rural households in india do not have this access so this is a tremendous opportunity for this industry if i have to talk about the second half of last fiscal this was a driver for growth and one of the major drivers for growth in the current year it has subsided but i do expect that in the next or two to three quarters the jal jeevan mission is going to be uh, not only a driver for growth but a game changer uh, for the entire industry what is the size uh, opportunity for this i mean you'll have some idea right and uh, are they inviting tenders what's could you give us some details sure so it's it's more done at a very uh, local basis so all our channel partners in you know the semi urban and rural pockets have to work with the local contractors uh, who are taking this business and you know because of our presence in those smaller towns and districts uh, we have been able to sort of been, uh, take advantage of this uh, scheme okay and and any numbers on the opportunity size uh, because of this so i i think it is uh, you know whatever our estimate suggest is around a 1 lakh crore investment uh, towards this entire project and typically 10 to 12% of that would be uh, the piping uh, requirement so uh, around uh, you know maybe 7 to 8000 crores on a conservative basis and today our industry size would be may- maybe around 30 to 35000 crores so in that context it's a, it's a pretty huge opportunity what's important is how the Uh, government is able to implement this on a timely basis. Okay, all right, Nair. Thanks very much. Good speaking with you. Appreciate your time here on CNBC TV 18. Thanks indeed.